Hey everyone, I think we can all agree that Jira is a great tool for developers, but when you start working with less technically savvy people like clients or colleagues, it's a different beast because Jira has a bit of a learning curve. Simple stuff like properly logging an issue can be challenging. So in this video, I wanted to show you two ways to create an issue in Jira straight from your email. The first way will be to create an automation with Zapier that will transform every email you receive into a Jira issue directly. And the second way will be to directly collect feedback on the website with a website widget. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the way this Zap is gonna work is it's going to interact with labels from your email. So the first thing you have to do is create a new label right here, and you can call it anything you want, but we are going to call it bug report, for example. You hit create and you can give it a nice color so you know exactly where to find it. Now the last thing you need to do here is send yourself an email with a new label as that will make it easier to set up in Zapier afterwards. So we go ahead and there we go, click send. So once your label is set up you can go into Zapier and create a new Zap. As a trigger you're going to choose Gmail as the app and the event will be new email. If you're going to choose your email as a Gmail account, mine is already linked, but you might have to give Zapier access to your email. And as a trigger, you're going to choose the label we have just created, which is bug report. Finally, test the trigger, and this is ready. Now you need to tell Zapier what happens once the trigger goes off. So in our case, we want to do something in Jira Software Cloud, which is right here. And the event is going to be create a new issue. Again, you're going to need to link your Jira Software Cloud account. And pick a project. Pick the issue type. Here I've created the custom issue type bug. Now for the issue summary, I recommend simply using the subject of the email and then for the description, whatever was in the text of the email, so body plane. And then for the reporter, you simply pick the name of the sender. And then just hit continue again, test and continue. And you're basically done and you can now publish your zap. All right, now that my zap is ready, I'm gonna pretend that I'm a client and send myself a bug report. So I go ahead and send myself an email without a label first. Now I'm the project manager. I'm going to click this email, realize it's a bug report, and label it as such. And now if we go into Jira, you will see that the issue lives here as well. But this solution is not perfect. Uh, there's a few problems with Zapier. Number one is that you can't attach anything. For example, if your client attaches a screenshot of the issue, it won't arrive in Jira. You still need to manually label emails, which can take some time. There's no customization. So if you have custom fields in Jira, those will not be transcribed from the email. And you still need to reply to your clients or QA by email. Which brings us to our second solution, which is using a website widget. Let's see how this looks. All right, so let's imagine I've just finished building an awesome website for a client and I send it to them for feedback. The widget is already installed and it lives right here at the bottom of the screen. As the client, I'm gonna test the website. For example, I'm gonna click on this button, realize it doesn't work and simply click report a bug. This opens up the visual editor so I can clearly tell the developer what's wrong here. And then I can write a quick summary and description of the issue. And finally, just click send feedback. And now as the client or tester, there's nothing left to do. I don't need to go into Jira. I don't need to do anything. I can just move on to the next issue. Now as a developer, I'm already in Jira fixing bugs. I see this new one come in and I can just click it. And as you can see, I have all the info I need to work. The client only added a title and a description but everything else is captured automatically. The reporter name, source URL, console logs, environment info, any custom metadata you want to add, and finally, the screenshot attachment. Another thing you can do as a developer, if you need more info about this bug in particular, you can simply click on contact via marker.io and it opens up a little issue page where you can type 
to your client, for example, here. So in this video, I've showed you two ways to spend less or no time at all in your inbox and more time actively working on a client website. If your organization requires you to use email, then you can use Zapier. But if you don't need to, then you might as well just cut the middleman and start using marker.io. So if using a widget sounds like a great alternative to email, check out our link in the description to see how we integrate with Jira. And I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.